leadership is about impact and influence empowering other people to act so that they can inspire a vision and create meaningful change it's about modeling the way and leading by example it would be that you can walk into a room and the majority of people plan on turning left and you enable them to see the virtue in going right leadership takes um, braveness or courage and so, in short, leadership is doing the right thing that fits with your values, even when it's hard. Leadership means uh, stepping down to the level of your colleagues and being one of them as opposed to being higher up than them. No matter if you're in that higher up position, that you will do the same work that's needed to support your colleagues and, and help them grow. It's about finding the right people as part of your team and, and getting them or helping them to grow and develop their own individual sort of skills. I think it's probably providing the opportunity for, for others to kind of grow and move in a way that they're inspired to, that they're, they're excited about, but giving them the opportunity to do that and the tools and the support in which they can grow into being their, their own people. As a thing I would also often really foster um, growth and development in the people that I work with in, within my team and for them to follow their interests, follow their pathway of where they want to go. So those lead and do as a leader, but also foster that ability for those people to want to grow through that process themselves. You as a leader need to know each individual's strengths, weaknesses, beliefs, values. I argue that every single person needs to know every single person's, depending on the size of the organisation. Uh, humility, being able to, to recognise when something's not working, um, to recognise that it's a, a constant lifelong learning and that even if you are the leader of a team, you still have so much to learn from everybody around you. Just putting others first, right? In, in the true sense of it, time and energy, not just money. So just say putting others first. I guess having the respect, not always not always necessarily liked, but but uh, having the respect of uh, of your colleagues and and uh, and those that you are that you are leading as well. Leadership is the ability to step out into the into the void, into the chasm, and be the one that takes the first step so everyone else can can follow. Just have the have the ability, have the, the courage to to do that and make a way for other people who are smarter and better and to, to actually go and, and do something with that space that you make. It's just working for your team. It's I think sometimes when people get into a leadership role, it's like everyone works for you, whereas leadership is what can you give in in the way of support and um, mainly a, mainly support to your team. I think it is about being your person's the patient that you're working with cheering squad. It's about being with them, standing beside them, letting them find their way and always encouraging them to find what works for them. For me, leadership is about leading by example. It's about caring for the person that you're leading. It's about understanding what their goals are as well as your goals are. And so for me, leadership um, means acting with honesty, uh, practicing humility, working uh, and showing the way with diligence and uh, focus on the future and continuing to grow. So that's what leadership means for me. As a leader, you often have to be vulnerable and bring myself down to the person's level and to minimise any authority I have in this situation, I suppose. Leadership is just about helping other people to find their own way. It's not, it's not about what I can tell you or what I do. It's actually just about supporting people to be brave enough to find their own way. Leadership to me means having passion and having a vision and getting your team and getting people around you to follow and help achieve that vision together. With the market research I did back in January for Growth RX, we sit at 41% female, 49% across all industries. Giving in myself permission to just to slow down for 10 minutes. Do you treat physical pain or emotional pain? I get that question all the time. Anyone who works with people, especially in a service-driven industry, has the ability to lead. In fact, we've got a duty of care to inspire others to do better and be better so that we can all thrive.